Hey, how you doing, man? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm I'm recording, just so you know. Oh, right on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think I think I'm recording. I, I uh, I'm getting better and better at this stuff all along. You know, throughout the yeah. summer, this reliance on you know technology and um, I do have my butter churn handy though in the background. Oh. See, just in case. So, I like to keep one foot in the analog world. Yeah, one but must butter. always have a butter churn at these times. <laughs> I love butter. I can never, I can never get enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn off my uh, my email. I'm gonna force quit. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I just force quitted, quit it. I just force quit my email. That's a good idea. I should do that. Um, yeah, I know. We're we're um, it's hard when you're you're so popular on the uh, you know with the devices. You know, getting I'm getting texts, emails. Um, you know politicians everybody wants a piece of me these days yeah i'm sure <laughs> you know the feeling i know yeah i do know the feeling where are you right now by the way i'm in nashville just sort of out here in the sticks uh, just outside of nashville yeah nice yeah that's right and we're about to you uh washington uh olympic peninsula oh nice yeah yeah so we're we're probably polar opposites when it comes to like temperature summer you know, sweltering hot. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, you get all of it up there in uh, in Washington, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I would think so. But we we live at the foothills of the um, Olympic Mountain Range, and so mm -hmm. we're actually in this rain shadow. So like, all this stuff kind of comes from the west coast over the ocean, and then when it hits the mountains, it just goes, it just parts. It goes wow. Over, and we're we're in like this little little gem of an area where we How wild. In the summer, it just stops raining. It's just it just stops. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's a little gray here. We've had a lot of nice thunderstorms. It's one of the nice things about uh, about Nashville and this, the, the Mid South. We get a lot of good thunderstorms. Nice. <laughs> I like Maybe thunder. Where the inspiration for the poster came from? Well, you, yeah. we should talk about that. Let me let me give you a proper introduction. I'm Grant Lee Phillips. I'm speaking with Matthew J. Fleming. And because of time constraints, it's the last time I will refer to either of us by our full names. Because we have long names. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so Matt, if I may call you, may I call you Matt? Yeah, you may. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll do so. Um, we we were introduced um, a few years ago, I guess. Maybe maybe 2017, something like that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, Things somewhere like around that. there. And um, credit goes to Tommy Manzi, uh, my manager, who was also... The manager of Cake, and um, you had done some designs for Cake before, right? Yeah, that's right. I did a poster for Seattle. Um, They're doing a show at the Seattle uh, Woodland Park Zoo. And oh, right. So, okay. Uh, yeah, so I did this poster where the they're, they're, the letters are stacked up on the poster, and the yes. the giraffe's neck is going right through all the letters. Hang on a second. I think I have technology here. I uh, uh, have a look here. That's not oh, it. Oh, there it is. Wow, that was quick. Are you seeing the giraffe? <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's a cool, cool. That's a cool design. That would have taken uh, me all afternoon to figure out how to do that. I can't figure out how to get back. Okay, here, here I go. <laughs> Stop sharing. Um, those guys are from Sacramento. I'm, um, I'm from Stockton. You're up oh, in the okay. Northwest. It's kind of, maybe it's a West Coast thing, you know, a West yeah. Coast sensibility. Um, in addition to to animals, <laughs> you you have a lot of wide open spaces in your um, in your designs quite frequently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, well, especially with this poster, which I'm sure that you'll show it at some point. Uh, yeah. Or I've got one right here if you want me to show it. I'd love to uh, see that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. That looks nice, and it's I don't nice. Know if you can see any detail there, but I mean the the resolution that uh, that they printed it at is just really nice. The colors are bang on. It's just it's, it turned out greater than I than I could have expected. So that's beautiful. Yeah, you can really see the uh, the enormity of it because uh, you're you're not a small man. You're about about, about seven foot six, something like yeah. that. So that gives yes. you an idea of the scale. Uh, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Beautiful. Turn I do here. have it on hand just in case I want to pull it up, but that's what a great way to see it for the first time. That's so cool. Yeah. Well, speak, yeah, speaking of wide open spaces. So that one, I mean, I, I, I love uh, showing the scale of things, you know, like 
storm clouds, the clouds look like clouds, you know, but once you kind of see the scale of like a giant storm, like I, I always see like pictures of storms rolling in over New York City and I'm like, right. oh my gosh, New York City is this behemoth to begin with and then you have right. this thing that's dwarfing it. Right, so, that monopoly piece of a building, that gives you some idea of what is coming in. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's a great point. Uh, the, um, the composition of this poster here, you've got um, the girl, who's based on my daughter, actually, we'll, we'll talk about that, but um, she's raising her branch to the sky and basically invoking you know, the elements there. And far off in the distance, you can see the, uh, the, uh, the farmhouse, the windmill, the storm approaching, you know, and there's such great movement throughout all of it as well. Um, yeah. I, I found your notes, uh, Clouds of Enormity was yeah. um, your note, <laughs> <laughs> which I love that. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, my daughter, when she was five, um, she was out in the backyard and the sun was going down. My wife and I were, we, we were getting packed to move from LA to Nashville. And um, she caught my ear when she raised the stick to the sky and she said, come on, lightning, show us your stuff. And just in that very moment, we heard the crack of thunder and the sky was lit up and we went, holy moly. And um, it was very dramatic and uh, I made note of it, but I thought, well, that is kind of the perfect, uh, the perfect way of, of summing up the whole creative act. You know, you're, yeah. uh, you're hoping to be struck with inspiration, you know, um, and so it stuck with me. I love the, uh, the the way it rolled off the tongue, and, uh, and I, I think she got a good kick out of it as well. You know, she's twelve yeah. now, so um, <laughs> she'll be telling that story for a long time. There are many people that can command lightning like she's that. very tired of that story already. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's part of being twelve. I I came across your work the first time, and I didn't know I didn't know your work. Um, I have it right here. This is an album by my friend yeah. Sean Watkins. And um, he had played this album. It was the night, I think, that it was back in Largo um, in L.A., our kind of clubhouse there in Los Angeles. And he played every song off this album, beautiful songs. And um, I picked it up that night. And, um, and I was really taken by the cover. Um, I can pull it up here as well. Here, I will, I will do so here. Check this out. That's another big space one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Three images and uh, one single source of light coming from the campfire and the, uh, the canopy of the forest. Um, and this is, this is exactly where I think you would find Sean Watkins. Um, <laughs> if you know Sean, he's, he's a nature man. Um, I, I mean, that. that's what I would love to be right now. I know, I know. Well, there's, there's two other folks with him there. That could be us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're an outdoorsman, right? You're an avid cyclist. Yeah, yeah, cycling. Um, you know, I've got a forty-year-old back now, so um, cycling isn't you know as as aggressive as it used to be. But last year, I I got into um, to kayaking, and we've got all these little um, uh, like spits out here on the on the Strait of Juan de Fuca. So there's there's the um, there's Klein Spit, which is a small one, and mm -hmm. so you're you're kind of protected from the the sea waters so you have like this nice uh breaker wall to paddle around behind and then there's also the dungeness uh you've heard of dungeness crab right i have yeah that's the first thing that comes to mind <laughs> <laughs> but there is a dungeness area a dungeness recreation area i can bring my butter churn yeah <laughs> exactly oh, <man. laughs> that's yeah that's, <laughs> that's right yeah um, do you think that the fact that you are uh one <laughs> with nature does that does that play a role in your in your sensibilities uh there's a sense of awe when i look at your stuff you know and it can be um it could be a, a landscape it could be a lunar landscape it could be the surface of the sun i'm thinking of the bob mold um design as well which i'll pull that up as well but um all of these things have this immense quality to them um i mean you want to appreciate it on a grand scale really like a poster um, but I know you do lots of different designs. Yeah, I, th I think nature, um, I feel like sometimes nature is sort of my fallback when I'm trying to think of something because it is, it does connect with people so much. Right. And it's, it's sort of like a sure shot, but also I think 
you know, the stuff that I do to unwind from or to step away from doing our work is so is always set in nature. So I'm, I'm always either like out on the water or out in the woods or, or something, you know, taking my dog for a walk. And so like when you're doing that and you're, you know, just contemplating things like you're, you're not trying to think about artwork, but at the same time, your, your brain is still sort of like turning you know, behind the scenes. And oh, right, and right. Something will just drop out of the sky and we go, oh, that's a, that'd be a really cool idea. You know, if that was set in the forest or like if that looked like a tree, but it wasn't actually a tree or like um, just <laughs> the, the scale of something too. Like kayaking, you're sitting right on the surface of the water and you're watching these waves come up and you, you just get these like interesting um, perspectives on nature, right. you know. Um, right. You know, a lot of them you get with with photographs, but like it, there's something different when you're using your your human eye to like get down and look at some moss and see what that looks like compared to the. That's to the, for sure. Uh, yeah, I uh, I do I do a fair amount of painting, but um, I I know that uh, you get so much more information uh, when you're actually out in nature. You know, when you're really trying to take in um, a scene you know, and it forces you to be selective. And uh, that's what really blows me away with your stuff as well, that it's so enormous and yet it's so graphic, you know. Um, do you employ uh, ideas like Notan to, to break it down, those, those major shapes and all of that when you're, when you're chasing after that design? Yeah, yeah, um, that's a, it's a good question because I, I'd say maybe in the past five years or so, I've really started getting into taking like compositional um, notes from like comic books and graphic mm. novels. And, oh, wow, wow. I mean, they really do pare things down to, to basic shapes. You think that when you open a comic book, you know, these, these are such skilled artists that like every illustration is going to be like this masterpiece and so detailed, but really the inside of a comic book is just, some of the illustrations are so vague, but the, the lights and darks and the shadows and the scale of things like they, they only achieve that with like very few brush strokes a lot of times. And it really is, <laughs> it's amazing to look at, to, to figure out just like how simple you can, can uh, get a composition to be. Right. You know? right. So like one tiny thing down here and then all that space, you know? Um, yeah. But also, but yeah, also to distill down, um, to distill shapes and and things down to their like root form, you know, something that is just it's really simple, but you can tell what it is. You know, right. Like you're 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 doing a lot with such limited information. So <laughs> you could you you don't want to draw an entire forest with and draw every little pine needle, right? Right. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> want to sort of just like do a broad stroke on that stuff. So. That's right. Well, our mind does that for us. It sort of, it makes those sort of yeah. selections, hopefully, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I've also been looking at the, um, I've got a book here from, uh, I, I'm sure you're familiar with Josh Ritter. I love Josh Ritter, yeah. And I love uh, the stuff that you guys have done together. We've done a ton together, yeah. And so yeah. He's, he's such a gracious guy too that he, um, at the end of the year, we had done a lot of work together. I don't remember what year it was, but uh, he sent me this book of the WPA, like the New Deal posters that, yeah. that were compiled and just like, just beautiful compositions of, uh, let's see if there's any large ones here that will show up. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah. boy. Um, just, just really, you know, things built on a grid, things that uh, are really, yes eye-catching, you know, at a glimpse. Right. Um, but yeah, just uh, stuff like that, I find a lot of inspiration in because they really, they really figured it out. Right. They, they, they figured out a lot of, a lot of um, big space ideas, uh, uh, edgy typography. And I feel like a lot of stuff has been repurposed over the years based off of a lot of those, a lot of those posters. So Right. You, know, you can even lay an illustration over the top of that and it's you know something that isn't that sort of like hard-edged thing but you're you still have the pieces in the right spots to make it right work. right gotcha i was fascinated by the way that we worked together uh, initially um this was for the album Wittershins, 
Um, the word Wittershins, uh, it means moving counter to the sun, counterclockwise. Um, metaphorically, I was, I was using that word to touch upon the chaos, you know, the social chaos, which has only got, <laughs> it's only become more chaotic, you know. But um, uh, that said, it, a word like that, uh, it doesn't initially generate an image. And so when we began to talk, um, that was the first, that was the first, um, you know, bit of business, I guess, to kind of find that image, that central image. And uh, we went through the lyrics. Um, there was a song, King of Catastrophe, and uh, it mentions Cassandra and uh, a Trojan horse. And I think when we landed upon Trojan horse, that's when you were really off and running. And, um, you know, it, it became such, well, for me, that just, yeah, that's everything. The album itself can be like a Trojan horse as well, you know? It's like, for sure. who doesn't love horses? <laughs> Big wooden <laughs> horses. But, uh, you know, yeah. it it's it's, could be a means of, uh, you know, uh, uh, is, you know, it could be very uh, subversive, I guess. Uh, let me pull up that, uh, that image here of the Trojan horse. Uh, it's here. Where are you at, Trojan horse? There it is, from Wittershins. And this is the poster that, are you seeing that, Matthew? Yep. There it is. Um, yeah, such a cool image. And also 18 by 24 as well. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a great one. Yeah, um, I, I like to take things that, I mean, a Trojan horse, like you're saying, horses are cool. Uh, and Trojan horses, like, I, I would love to see one of those things, you know? Like, <laughs> Right, right. how big that was to fit all those dudes inside and you know like I, I always thought oh that that would be such an interesting thing to... who would fall for that anyway though you know it's like yeah. <laughs> what is it just a horse big wooden horse let him through <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah we've never seen one of those before but sure right let it in. Yeah. that's right uh <laughs> yeah be careful who you let in the club i guess is the you know yeah that's the moral but of that I have story. A question for you, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you are when you're writing lyrics, because you and other uh, musicians lay down little breadcrumbs for artists to work with yeah. throughout your albums, you know. And I don't know, are you are you aware that you do that? Is well, I, <laughs> uh, the way it works for me is that all of this. All of this stuff, you know, uh, lyrics, it all begins with something that I am seeing in my mind's eye. Yeah. So, uh, so rather than thinking of it in, uh, in terms of, of words or, or lyrics, I'm kind of, you know, I'm trying to let you in on this world that I'm experiencing as I sing these things, you know? And, mm -hmm. um, and so um, that's why you know, lyrics are, are visual and I try to, I try to uh, use them to set the scene, you know? To, uh, to lure <laughs> my victims, you know, like a spider into this, this web of, of, uh, of images. Um, yeah. But it's still a challenge though, when it comes, you know, to, uh, you know, to what do you call a record? Cause I don't always, you know, I, I don't really start with a title and work outward. I, I have to find that like, here it is. It's in my, it's in my living room now. What is it? What, yeah. what have I created, you know, and what do I call it? And, uh, and, uh, and then trying to take it to that step where, uh, you begin to marry images with this thing that already exists. That's such a challenge. And I was so happy with how that poster turned out and uh, this, this new one that, um, you know, that I'm, I'm forever grateful because my fear is that it's going to pull it into another direction, you know, something that could be great on its own, but maybe does it, does it work in harmony with <laughs> with what I've already tried to create, you know, it, it's a real, real issue uh, for making videos. It's something I, I, I lose sleep over and, um, mm -hmm. and with album art and everything, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you are handing over a lot of trust to somebody else too, to sort of yeah. visualize something when you already have something that you're already seeing in your head. You know? Yeah. I mean, this yeah. one's a little bit different because you, I should tell people that you, had the concept already laid out for me for for this particular poster for the, for the yeah yeah I, I didn't want to um, to fill in I didn't want to color it in too much you know um, literally or figuratively I, I gave you a small thumbnail and 
Do I have a thumbnail? Uh, no, I don't have a thumbnail. Um, I do, but I feel like I would just melt my computer trying to. <laughs> <laughs> pull it <up> <laughs> That's okay. It, it literally is just a, a you know a small sketch that I sent to you. Said something like some, just for the sake of communicating, you know. Yeah. yeah. But um, that I don't know. I, I have found those things are really valuable, and a lot of times, you know, the main thrust of what I'm trying to say, if it's if I'm writing a song or, or whatever I'm doing, it's, it's often there on this, <laughs> this, this first draft, a lot of it, you know, mm -hmm. um, maybe not all of it, but a lot of it is there. And um, we talked about other, other um, images and touchstones, uh, the um, uh, Arthur Rothstein, some of the, um, the photographs of the Dust Bowl, um, particular yeah. one where everyone is running in the dust and it just, a whole thing is a blur of, sand and, and, and dust and it's it's <laughs> horrific um, yeah. uh, goodness uh, some of the uh, the book jackets the dust covers I guess they're called um, from some of the novels that came out decades ago you know I was mm -hmm. fascinated with those things as well but some of that is me also being uh, influenced and taking into mind what I know you you create you know as well you know sure so, yeah. so it's kind of getting there's a, a nice you know echo chamber or, you know a good kind of echo chamber I guess yeah yeah that's right yeah like it's it's such a special thing having um or finding somebody that you know can um kind of work with your vision of what you have you know um and does it vary like, from from client to client how that how that goes to, I know you do you do stuff for uh goodness uh, I think converse and other I have a list <laughs> yeah and I'm, and I'm sure I'm sure that they um and being converse and, and whoever else, you know, would take a pass on me because I'm not right for the job, you know, like. Bonnaroo, um, I, I know there's a lot of, you know, a lot of major corporate clients that you do work for. Yeah, and I, you know, a lot of them are, are merch companies, you know, so these merch companies will um, hire artists, you know, for different, for different bands that, um, that, that those, let me start over. Bands have hired this merch company. All these different bands hired this one merch company. And then that merch company goes out and, and finds all these different artists. And oh, wow. they make these pairings, you know, like, oh, this guy would be good or she would be good for this band, you know. And, um, and so, so I'm sure that there are a lot of like bands and artists that might not match up so well. But uh, I see. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. But I, you know, I haven't felt that way about about working with you because I've been a fan of your music for so long that like <laughs> even if I wasn't a right fit I would make it fit because I'm like oh man I get to do this awesome oh, uh, thank so, you <laughs> thanks a lot yeah. yeah but I but I you know and and I am familiar with some of your your visual work that you've done as well and so um, some of that was even an inspiration for me when I was in college doing um, I don't know if I mentioned this to you or not, but doing charcoal and gesso on big yeah. half paper on my walls and stuff, and I just <laughs> I felt like I felt like there was some of your some of your work made it in there somewhat. Oh wow, <laughs> I love that! Wow, yeah. that's that's yeah. incredibly flattering. Yeah, um, well, I, I you work so much in the digital world these days, but I would assume that you know you as you were coming up, you probably work with a variety of mediums. And um, tell me about that evolution of everything that, you know, from beginning and how you got to this point in time here. Yeah, it's a, lot, <laughs> it is a lot different. Yeah, I went to school um, thinking that I was going to be a painter or maybe like an illustrator or something that that worked at an ad agency and was always like sitting in the dark working with markers and stuff like that. And that's actually how it started out. I worked for a marketing company and, and um, we would do these, uh, it was for events, event marketing. So we would illustrate these events and everything was done by hand, pen and ink and, and filling it all in with markers. And if something had to be changed, you had to like paste over the top and like, you know, Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Like, I'm sure there are a lot of comic artists that, that still work that way. Um, but that's how things started out. And now things have just skyrocketed, you know, with, with timelines and, you know, um, being able to simulate uh, hand-drawn things or like handmade textures with 
like a, a brush that you buy online. <laughs> right, so, right. Yeah. Procreate brushes and yeah, Procreate <laughs> brushes. I mean, yeah, <laughs> so fun. <laughs> I mean, it really they are fun. Is. Uh, they are a challenge, though. You know, there are there are days where um, I, you know, I might sit on the couch as I'm just kind of, I'm just tired out. But I'm gonna I'm gonna draw on my Procreate. You know, yeah. watch Col Colbert and and uh, <laughs> settle in. You know, and uh, it just doesn't feel like doesn't feel like a real pencil. Doesn't feel like a real brush. No, it feels like glass on glass, and it's just it's strange. You know, yeah. and every uh, every now and then I'm happy with it, but um, yeah. man, there's yeah, there is no substitute <laughs> for the real thing. And, you know, you could say that uh, there's such a huge learning curve with like doing something by hand and making mistakes and and um, having to do something over or start over or, or whatever, you know, but there's always really cool things that happen when you're doing stuff by hand, like cool right. mistakes. Right, right. And then, you know, then you also, you could say that I'm sitting down with my iPad and I have like a thousand brushes loaded up on this thing that I can experiment with. That, there's a learning curve there too. Oh yeah, so, oh yeah. You know, you can't, you can't like poo poo one thing or the other because no, they're, no, no. Not, they're sort of like happy accidents that happen. And Anyone who makes it look easy to uh, to sit down with an iPad and produce something stunning is just, you know, I'm amazed by it. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm lured in uh, to those videos on Instagram where it's just like, watch me create this realistic face in about 30 seconds. And I'm just blown away, but I'm like, <laughs> how do you get there? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. You. Uh, I want to make sure to mention that you have a website and you have a store as well, as well, right? With, with yeah. The this the store is not a huge thing. Um, I mean, people have been having to wait like four weeks for a, for a poster now because the is that because of the the mail or? Yeah, the mail's kind of in flux right now. Right, uh, everywhere. So. Um, so, but yeah, I do, I do sell posters, you know, whatever posters I have from, from projects that I've worked on. Um, so the store, the store isn't a huge thing, but um, yeah, do you have a website that um, MatthewJFleming.com. Right. And you're on Instagram. Um, on Instagram, MatthewJ. Yeah. Let me pull up uh, just a couple of these here that, uh, this one here, this is uh, Randy Carlisle. Beautiful poster, beautiful design. Yeah, I wish I had more of those actually. I have people that I get an email every once in a while. Hey, do you have that poster that you made you know, <laughs> seven years ago? <laughs> uh, Here's yeah. another one. Uh, they might be giants. So cool. And that, that one's pretty cool because um, I started working with the Fillmore in San Francisco, like, almost like the day after I moved away from San Francisco. <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah, so my, I got married and then my wife and I were like, let's, let's move somewhere cool. So we moved down to the central coast of California and then I started getting um, projects from the Fillmore in San Francisco. And I never, I never made it up to a show. It would have just been so cool to be able to- Oh, goodness. Meet a lot of these bands that I was getting <laughs> posters for. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Um, the poster, Again, let me pull it up here now that we, uh, you showed it, but I'm going to show it here on my end as well. I think I may even have the, uh, let's see. Are you seeing the sketch or the final poster? I'm seeing the final one. Oh, good. Okay. Um, the sketch was amazing as well. <laughs> so that's the final poster. And this is something that um, if folks would love to have a signed um, print of this, um, a silk screen. Matt is signing and numbering a number of these. I'm also going to sign it. And that is available exclusively through the Yep Rock store. Um, when you order the, um, when you pre-order the bundle, which is the LP or CD and poster shirt. Uh, and you also design a cool shirt too. So <laughs> that's where you want to go to, to look that up. I want to make sure to, uh, to let everybody know that. Um, a lot of folks have already jumped on that. Um, but it's not too late to put that order in. Here we are. All right. Awesome. I can't wait to wear one of those t-shirts, by the way. Ah, yeah, I know. Me too. It looks nice. Um, uh, yeah, I, the, the idea of doing something like uh, an emblem. Um, I really loved all of those badges that you 
uh, you did for Joshua. <laughs> I was like, I like those. Well, you know, I don't know. There's something about uh, that kind of thing. If it's, if it's, you know, like an old, uh, uh, you know, petroleum, not a petroleum company, but a gas station or, you know, a bottle cap, anything that works in a circle. I'm, I'm kind of, fa it's always a challenge, but I'm fascinated with how people pull it off, you know? Yeah, me too. I'm always, I'm always drawn toward circular things or, um, old logos that are just the simplest right. thing. And I think, oh man, can I find a t-shirt of that somewhere? Oh, I know. I see that yeah. uh, all the time. Um, matchbooks have incredible art. I discovered that, you know, around the world, you know, there are matchbooks and a lot of work went into them. I mean, they're yeah. only a big, but fantastic designs on them. And, yeah. I, and I guess the same thing because they had to be reduced to something that would read, you know. <laughs> yeah, but it, but it is really amazing to the production quality of, of matchbooks and um, also stamps. Like, oh, I know. Like, I'm, I'm aging. I go to stamp shows. <laughs> well, there, we, you have do. One, we have one stamp show here in our small town every year at the Mason Lodge. And uh, wow. Yeah. And so there's all these people that come in from, from like Seattle and like Eastern Washington all the way out here, you know, like a four hour drive or something like that to like show off their postcards and stamps and you, you like, like I've gone off on tangents of like, oh man, now I'm into like old World's Fair stuff, you know? Or, oh yeah. Yeah, you just like all this old ephemera that they bring and, and you know, they figure that somebody will be interested in it. But I, I really started having an appreciation for stamps because the like, even, I don't you know, I don't know when the first stamp was made, but like you can you go back quite a few years and the production quality uh, and like the, the detail that they could get on such a small stamp is really right. amazing. Yeah, they must so, have been etched or something at, at one time, I would guess, you know. They look like etchings, yeah. But I have no idea how they produce them. You know? I just hope they are around for a lot longer given the circumstances. I, I hope so too. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, um, yeah the uh, support your USPS and save them from the USBS that is going it. down. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to do a save the save the USPS t-shirt sometime. I, I I think that's a good idea. Yeah, get on it right away and yeah. and, and put them in the mail right away. Yeah. It might take a while. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, uh, goodness. Well, I'm so glad I got to uh, to catch up with you, and I, I really appreciate you uh, sharing all of this with us. Yeah, yeah, this is nice. It's good to it's good to talk to you face to face too. Yeah, likewise. Likewise. Oh, what's up next for you? What are you working on? Oh, man. Lots of things. I'm going to look at my little post-it note that I have <laughs> on the computer. Um, let's see. Farm Aid is a good one. Oh, wow. How yeah. cool. Farm Aid is doing an online uh, concert this year. And Great. so um, I wish I had the dates. <laughs> like, I've been staring at this stuff for so long. Um, but... Uh, it's coming up in September, I believe. Right. Um, I see. It's yeah. probably on the poster. Yeah, yeah it's probably <laughs> yeah, it's probably somewhere. <laughs> Go to Farm Aid <laughs> online and check it out. There's a T-shirt. Yes. Um, they've got they've got the big artists still lined up for it, so they're gonna forge ahead, and um, hopefully, maybe even more people will check it out. Yeah, um, for sure. So, um, yeah. So T-shirts for that, so you can go and support them online. And, buy some t-shirts and donate if you can because food is a is a, a big one right now you know there's there's a lot of people that that really need to be fed and there's a lot of small farms that that need food support right now yeah. awesome so thank you matthew <laughs> yeah, absolutely thank you have, have a great night i know the sun stays up pretty late where you're at yeah um, yeah so. i know it's, it's, it's like noon right now <laughs> you can probably get a ride in still yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, my friend. All right. Thank you. Right. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.